Thank you, Tony. Day three of testimony today in the trial of Erica Murray, the Blackstone mother accused of murdering two of her children. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian was in court today, and she joins us with the latest developments. Well, today's testimony centered on whether the babies whose remains were found inside Erica Murray's home were stillborn or whether they survived birth. A critical distinction in whether Murray will be found guilty or acquitted of murder. Again, we want to warn you, the facts of this case are disturbing. Day three of testimony in the trial of 35-year-old Erica Murray facing charges including murder after the remains of three babies were found inside her squalid Blackstone, Massachusetts home in 2014. First on the stand Thursday, a state police sergeant who went to Murray's home in September of 2014, he recounted going through a bedroom closet and making a grisly discovery. As we started uh, removing the top portion of the box, that is when we uh, located the uh, the human remains. Prosecutors and witnesses have said three babies' bodies were found inside Murray's home. Two were wearing clothing and diapers, the other with the umbilical cord and placenta still attached. Murray facing two counts of murder in connection with two of those infants' deaths. A forensic anthropologist saying one baby had what's called a neonatal line. This line keeps appearing on uh, individuals who had gone through a live birth and survived afterwards and no one was finding it. Uh, and anyone um, who never made it past fetal age, uh, you would never been born. He says the microscopic dental line forms during a live birth and is visible about a week afterwards. But the defense questioned the science of the theory, attempting to prove there is no evidence the babies survived birth. And throughout today's proceedings, Erica Murray showed little sign of emotion. We also heard from a medical examiner who conducted the autopsies of those three children. He said he was not able to determine a cause of death or even what gender those babies were. He says he believes at least one survived birth. Testimony will resume tomorrow at 9 a.m. In Worcester, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.